Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to my channel, Lincoln. I'm your host, Abe. Today I have a really cool video for you guys. I do have to say, this video is really sponsored by Huawei. Who is Huawei? Well, they are the creators of these amazing characters called Fingerlings. Friendship at your fingertips. These characters are really cool. You put them in your fingers, they make sounds, they move around. Well, what? They are insane. But not only are we going to unbox these characters, we are going to do the sketch of this one right here. So what do you say? Let's get to it. Okay guys, let's start the unboxing. Today we're gonna unbox this beautiful little guy right here. Now let's take out the plastic. Just be careful when you take out the plastic, make sure that you get a grown up to, uh, to do this because you might have to cut it from the size. Now this little toy right here, this little friend, um, it should be for five years and up. He has about 40 sounds. This bottom right here has all the manuals. As you can see, they tell you how to turn it on, move it around, all the things that uh, he can do. Now let's take out our little friend. Whoa, he's so cool. He can move his head, he can make sound. So we're gonna turn it on. The switch is right in the back of his head. So you put your finger and you talk to him. Hello there. How cool is that? Hey, how you doing today? What a great toy for little kids. I mean, you know, you just put it on your finger, you can talk to him, he moves around, he does different things. Sounds. What a great little guy, right? Thank you to our friends from um, Fringlings. Definitely a great, uh, a great friend at your fingertips right here. So what do you say then we start sketching this little guy? Let's get to it, right? Okay guys, for today's sketch, you're gonna need a cutting glove like this one, a pencil, you're gonna need a black pen like this one, just a regular black pen you can get in any supply store. We're gonna have some color in this, into this piece, so you're gonna need some colored pencils. Oops, I dropped one, don't worry about it. <laughs> and we're also gonna need a highlighter and two color markers, a gray one and an orange one. So let's get ready. With our ruler too, don't forget the ruler. Okay, let's start this sketch, my friends. Now today I do have to mention that this video and this piece of art is dedicated to a very special girl. Her name is Hannah from Alabama. Yes, why are we dedicating this piece for her? Because she's a really cool fan. Um, she actually um, told me that our videos help her in, in during very hard times um, and for that, this is motivation for me to continue my channel and, and to push it to the next level. Like I always tell you guys, if you can take just one thing out of my videos, uh, if it helps you in some way, somehow, if only one person watches my videos, it's more than motivation for me to continue doing this YouTube thing. As you already know, my son Kid Nerd is a gamer, he's a YouTuber, he's the one who got me into this, and it has been a great experience. I mean, I'm really glad that I'm able to somehow, some way, uh, um, you know, uh, help her out um, by watching my videos and motivate her. Um, and, and, and that's definitely a, a big blessing for me. So, this is dedicated to you, Hannah, from Alabama. Also guys, a fun, uh, fun fact today. We're gonna talk about toys. Since this is a toy, fun fact about toys. The origin of toys. Now, the origin of toys is said to be prehistoric. Those representing infant, animals, and soldiers, as well as the representation of tools uh, used by adults has been found in archeological sites. The origin of the word toy is unknown, but it is believed that it was first used in the 14th century. Wow, isn't that incredible? Toys are mainly for children. Uh, the oldest unknown doll toy is thought to be 4,000 years old. My God, isn't that crazy? Playing with toys is considered to be important when it comes from, um, to growing up and learning about the world around us. Young children use toys to discover their identity and it helps their bodies grow strong. 
learn codes uh, and effective, explore relationships, and to practice skills uh, they will need as adults. Adults on occasions use toys uh, to form and strengthen uh, the social bonds, teach, help them in therapy, and to remember and reinforce lessons from their youth. Isn't that cool? Now let's go back to this toy right here, this sketch uh, from our friends from Fringerlings. Huawei, what a great company. They came out with this concept. This toy is called Fingerlings. Friends are your fingertips. Now, these toys right here are so cool. Why? Because not only do they make sounds, they move around, but also there's a, there's a large collection of them. A lot of people don't know this. It's not just the, uh, the monkeys. I mean, they have dragons, they have the monkeys, they have pandas, they have play sets, they have unicorns, sluts. I mean, it's insane. I mean, all these toys are pretty cool, pretty incredible. Uh, it's what a fun way to, you know, for your kids to relax uh, and, and, and just to have fun. I'm going to leave the link below, guys, so you guys can check out their site, check out their toys. And I do have to say thank you. Thank you, Huawei, for giving me uh, this opportunity. As you already know, this is the first time ever video, a uh, sponsored video. Um, it's really cool, you know. Uh, thank you to all my viewers because this is possible thanks to you guys. Uh, I never thought I was going to make it to this point where I was going to do a sponsored video. I never thought I was going to make it past uh, 10 subscribers. Um, I have been very lucky because, you know, I have a great audience. I, I love you guys. Uh, there's a lot of things coming up this year. We're doing a, a Comic Con in Union City, a free Comic Con. Uh, this Comic Con is dedicated to the youth, it's to help you guys. Um, it's being sponsored and supported by Senator and Mayor Brian Stock from Union City. We're going to have it in Union City October 8th. So if you guys are in New York or in the New Jersey area, please, October 8th, which is Columbus Day, from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., come to Union City. The doors are open for everybody. Uh, we're going to have a lot of artists in there. We're going to have a lot of vendors. We just had CKO coming aboard into the convention. Um, it, it, there's a lot of great companies, a lot of great people. We have the Marines there. We're big supporters of, of our vet, veterans. We're big supporters of, of our soldiers. We love you guys uh, for everything you guys have done. Um, it's, it's, it's definitely going to be insane. It's going to be incredible. And of course, you know, if you see uh, Kitner for myself there, don't be afraid. Come and say hi. Uh, we don't bite. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to this guy right here. Our friend, our little monkey. Uh, let's see. Now, when you do a sketch like this, uh, it's it's a little more simple than, than the ones I usually do, uh, but definitely it, it doesn't take away how fun it is uh, to do an animal, to do a toy. It, it's really cool, especially a toy like this one. Okay, guys, so all these X's are the parts we're going to paint in black in one, two, and three. There you go, movie magic. Okay, now after this, we have the black parts and the backgrounds done. We have the character in red. So let's put a little bit of color into the skin. Now, don't forget, guys, every time you're going to do a large part in black, you put a lot of X's. Why? Because those are the parts you're going to come back uh, and you're going to ink. Uh, usually, when you do art um, for a comic book, for example, um, that art is done by different people. So you do the sketch, you know, by one person in pencil, and then you have a guy who's going to ink. That's why you do these little X's. So you give a guidance to the guy who's gonna ink um, of the parts that are gonna be, you know, uh, um, inked more in black. You know, the parts that he needs to, 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 to completely, you know, inked in black. So that's why you put the X's. That's like a guide for him. Uh, okay, let's go over here, put a little more detail. You know me, man. I love detail. I think the, um, every, every single person has a different style. Uh, like in my case, I love to put detail um, into my art because I, I don't know. I, I think that if you're gonna do something, you know, why not, man? It's it's the more detail you give it, the more life it's gonna it's gonna have. Okay, now let's do the skin right here. Okay, a little more. Let's paint all the face right here in skin color. Okay, as you already know, guys, every single piece of of of. Uh, tools that I use, the markers, the pencils, the highlighters, uh, these are markers, these are color pencils, these are items that you can find in any supply store. I didn't use nothing fancy, I didn't use nothing crazy because of the simple reason why is 
Uh, I don't want you guys going out there and spending you know too much money and also the fact that you know I want you guys to be able to find these items anywhere you know I don't want you guys to go crazy uh, looking for these pencils or, the, or, the, or these expensive uh, uh, markers that some artists use yeah of course if you're doing you know comic books if you're doing art in a professional level definitely you need to have quality uh, markers however because of the whole purpose of YouTube and because I want to I want to try to share this with you guys uh, I'm not an expert don't get me wrong but if I can teach you just a little bit out of my videos of, of, of you know of art um, I want you guys to be able to get these tools in any store so you can do it with me that's the whole purpose of this video okay let's go right here now we're gonna use a little darker brown so we can do a little bit of shadow due to the light I mean for <laughs> When I do the art, I have a light right on top of me, so it takes away um, a little bit of, of the visual part. And what I mean by that is that you, you, you can't really see uh, the difference in the uh, darker color pencil and the lighter color pencil that I was using before. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to see it um, once I take a picture and make the thumbnail or when I put it in social media. Uh, okay, now let's use the highlighter and do the hair right there, a little more of the hair. Absolutely, there we go, a uh, little more. Now I decided to use the highlighter as the hair, why? Because I wanted to stand out, don't forget. Um, you wanna use the whole paper. The whole paper is your canvas. Uh, when you do backgrounds, uh, do backgrounds that are gonna you know, emphasize uh, the main piece of art, which in this case is our friend from Figurelings, the monkey. Um, so using black as the background and him red, it's gonna make him stand out. And then of course the hair, and the highlighter made it look, you know, now we're gonna put a little bit of uh, shadows and a little hairs right there to make it look cooler. So guys, as always, thank you for watching. If I can do it, you can do it too. Believe in yourself a little bit. I believe in you a lot. Love you and see you in the next video. Well guys, thank you for watching my video. If this is the first time checking out my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, share. It's all appreciated, my brother. Listen, if you wanna check out our gaming channel, just click right here. If you wanna check out our other videos from vlogging, or just click right, right, right here, right here. Thank you very much guys, we'll see you in the next video and as always, we love you.